Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks and I decided to do something different and that is basically adding the video with the tech stocks and the indices in one video uh, just to make it easier for me to because there's so many videos to upload uh, each night. So this will be now a combined video of basically the tech stocks and the indices. So this is going to be my daily forecast for the tech stocks and the US indices uh, for um, Wednesday, uh, November 4th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So I entered several trades in, uh, in tech stocks this and today, also the indices. The main reason is that there's a lot of hype about John, uh, John, but when Joe Biden uh, winning the election and if you win selection, there will be a lot of stimulus. I I hate to burst the bubble, but there's not going to be any stimulus until at least January or in the best case, in the beginning of February 2021. Um, if Joe Biden wins, Donald Trump will do whatever it basically takes in order to try to cheat his way to the to victory. And if he doesn't manage that, he will make it absolutely hell for Joe Biden the next coming months and for the Democrats in order to basically burn down the house before they take power. So therefore, I took my profit today in all of my trades and uh, it's just too risky to hold these trades for tomorrow. Maybe wrong, but that is what I did. So we look at Netflix. Netflix rallied quite nicely up towards the 100 moving average and then broke down again. At the moment, we're trading between 100 moving average and 150 moving average. Uh, in the long run, we are most likely going back to these highs. I don't expect Netflix to break below the 150. It may well be, but, but at this point, we need something really, really horrible news in order to basically break the 150. We'll probably stay here in this range for some time, but these highs is what basically I'm targeting. I just don't want to target them um, before and know what is going to happen with the elections. Technical, technical indicators are, they should be very nice for a massive move to the upside because it's very cheap. We are at the 27 in the RSI. All the technical indicators in the beginning of the session were looking very nice. They turned around now, but we'll see tomorrow. If uh, if uh, if everything goes well, we'll have a massive rally tomorrow, and uh, and then I'll enter the market again. If you look at a Microsoft, I also entered this market. We rallied up towards the hundred moving average, and then I sold this. Um, we are trading in between the lows here of uh, around two hundred and the highs of uh, two hundred and thirty three. 100 moving average is resistant at this point. We're trading in between 150 and 100. This is just all of these stocks, a lot of certain uncertainty that we have the pullback here. They're all very cheap. They're all ready to basically explode to the upside. And whatever happens tomorrow, uh, we'll, we'll see basically whether or not that is going to be the case. So if you look at Apple, Apple, same thing. We rallied a little bit, but we are cautious. We are waiting for a clear signal who is going to win the election, what is going to happen afterwards. So the very lows of 107, we have a, uh, the, not the highs, but um, the next highs of uh, 125 and then the ultimate highs of uh, 137. Technical indicators for this are looking, well, not as good as for the others, uh, but CCI is looking very good. The Stochastic is not, the MACD is not, the RSI is on the edge of being oversold. So this is Apple. So we just need uh, some good news and then we'll basically explode to the upside. Uh, just some mention from the incoming government, the new government in the United States, administration, I mean, uh, that will say now we're going to focus on stimulus and then this, this will basically explode. So Amazon, we rallied, pulled back a little bit. We're trading underneath a 50 move, 100 moving average. We have the lows here of around uh, 2,887. And we have the highs here around we have there, 3,552. We are oversold. 
this is cheap at the moment. We may fall a little bit, but this is just going to go higher. This is not going to go significantly lower. We just need uh, additional information, and we probably could get this even better at a better price if um, if uh, if the outcome tomorrow is not what the market is anticipating. So this is a possible entry. Just waiting for what is going to happen tomorrow. Looking at Tesla. Tesla rallied up towards the 50 moving average, found resistance there, and then pulled back a little bit. The Tesla is also cheap. Technical indicators for Tesla are significantly better than for all the other tech stocks. We will most likely target this area here, which is around at 462 after and the lows here of 351. So we may rally up towards this area here. If that breaks, then we'll go to these highs of 502. So technical indicators for Tesla are looking very promising, both the stochastics, uh, the MACD and the CCI and the RSI. Everything is very bullish for, for Tesla stock. Facebook also bought into this. We rallied up towards the 50 moving average pullback, and now we're trading in between the 50 and the 100 moving average. We have the lows here of 246, and then we have these highs here that we have to test first and break through before we can get to these very highs here. So we're right in the middle here. If we break down towards the 100 moving average, that will be massive support, and that is a buying opportunity. We could break further down because we are only at 47. We're not over bottom, not over shoulder. So we could also go way down towards this area here. And that will also coincide with 150 moving average. Um, but again, we need to see what basically happens um, tomorrow uh, and, and what the result of the election is. Google had a very good, a good day today. And um, we have been rallying, but we did not close above any of these highs. So we need to get about that high in order to get to these size. But at this point, I do think that we are going to to trade back towards the 50 moving average. We are here at this point, and there is around 6.4% to the, to the 50 moving average. And I think that is where we are going. Technical indicators are fairly bullish at this point, but, but, they're, but it, it, it has signs of basically being weak here. We tried to rally to these highs for two days now in a row, and we did not manage that. And and that usually means that we are going to fall. And the target here would be the 50 moving average at 1549. Break below that, almost the door to the 150 at 4059, and then to the 200 moving average at very low zero 40 uh, 90 for uh, 29. So. Let's look at the S&P 500. So S&P 500 is trading at the lows of 3,209 and the highs of 3,596 or 3,600. We found resistance at the 50 moving average here at 3,400. And at the moment, we're trading in between the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average. Technical indicators for this uh, indice is uh, very good. We, we are about to basically take off. If we break the 50 moving average, this will basically explode to the upside. We'll try to take out this top here at 3,550 and then to these 3,600. Stochastic is looking good. The Bollinger Band is looking good. The CCI is looking good. And the RSI and the MACD is turning around. So it is just... Um, a matter of technically what happens. We need some kind of good news in order for this to break to the upside. I have no interest in basically shorting this. Uh, if it falls further, I will definitely be a buyer in this market. So if we look at the Dow Jones, we can see that we are trading at the lows of uh, 26,000 to the highs of 29,000. At the moment, we found resistance here at the 20 exponential moving average at 27,630. We pulled back a little bit, but this was gradually we had three really nice days for the Dow Jones. Technical indicators for this indice are very good as they are for the S&P 500. Sarcastic, uh, Bollinger Band, um, the CCI, the RSI, 
and the MACD are all turning around, and that means that we most likely will go higher. If we break lower, the 100 moving average will act as support at 26,657, and that will basically give us an additional uh, opportunity to basically buy this. So um, this was one of my trading signals that enter uh, uh, to end and sell at 27,500, and that worked quite well. So look at uh, Nasdaq. Nasdaq rallied again today. We're trading at a low as 10,677, the very highs at 12,485. And then we have this additional top here. At this point, we have the 50 moving average around 11,545. And we are trading in between the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average. This is very similar to the S&P 500, the Dow Jones. It's even actually better because we are at 31. There's a lot of room to the upside. The CCI is turning around, the stochastic is turning around, the MACD is turning around. And if we get uh, some good news tomorrow, I think that we'll basically explode uh, past the 50 moving average, take out this top and that top within the next uh, week, uh, a week or two. No interest basically is shorting this. This was basically the lows. We are most likely not going to go back here. It, we can, if there's some something horribly wrong with the elections tomorrow, then we can go back here. But otherwise, I think this is basically as far as the market will go. And from now on, we'll go higher. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button uh, and to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us on Patreon. We already have 23 traders trading on our signal service. And they have also access to our um, full technical analysis for the commodities market. So, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.